before we go at the video review, please, if you really like this kind of content about practical shooting, airsoft, or airsoft practical shooting, please uh, kindly like my YouTube channel and my Facebook page. I'm gonna put the link below. So it will really help me uh, to continue making this video. It's a really big help, guys. So anyway, let's go back to the review. Hello, shooters and airsofters. Now, we're gonna review the much-awaited. Whoops, reverse. <laughs> it's the GNG ARP-9 uh, version 3. So let's get started. So this is the much awaited ARP9. So all of the ARP series, the ARP556, the ARP9 version 1, version 2, and the other uh, version 1 and 2 of ARP556, they are really incredible. Uh, they're really doing a great job in CQBs, PQBs, even at speedballs for the 556. And even GNG, they're making uh, they're making one of the best, or maybe the best, currently the best, um, um, affordable and yet good uh, products or bang for the buck uh, EEGs that you can get. They're very uh, most of their works or most of their uh, airsoft is or the budget side is made of polymer, but they're really good. Uh, you can see that dog, uh, my dog is my dog. So here it is, much away the ARP9. It's really, really small. The box is really small. As you can see, it can fit inside my cell phone or in my screen. <laughs> so here it is. So you can see their new features here. What's inside the box? The unique serial number. The manuals, I already removed it. And also, um, sling hook that you can attach in your buttstock. Then, of course, yeah, <laughs> it's a very cool rifle. The rifle itself. So here it is. It's really, really cool. Really, really compact. So the unique serial number. I guess it's it's here. Is it here? Yeah. The unique serial number here on the receiver is also the same as the box. So this is very authentic <laughs> PCC. So in the real steel or real guns, this is a PCC. PCC means pistol caliber carpet. So they're using uh, pistol rounds. So this one is getting really popular in the airsoft world. Uh, also in the real steel world because PCC is used in practical shooting competition and also some of the countries they only allow to have rifles with pistol caliber RAM so that's why it's getting popular so that's why GNG is making this cool bad boy um, PCC rifles very handsome and good looking rifle so the package it comes with 30 mag this is a mid or low cap uh, mag so it can go up to 66 rounds, but you cannot finish all of the 66 rounds because it has a unique design of follower. As you can see here, they have the new system. They call it a four channeling something, four channeling um, followers. So there is a four channel of follower there, as you can see. So once the BB hits this one at the last, at the top part, you cannot feed that one because the spring, it will only travel here. So this is 66 rounds. I guess you can only shot 50 rounds. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure this remaining rounds, you cannot shot it. But still, it feeds really well. I don't have any malfunctions when I try it. No misfeeds. Really nice. Really nice round and it's transparent. So if you're thinking to uh, using the old mags, you can use it. Old ARP mags. ARP9. So for the rifle, it's, it's really compact, it's really small, but in a positive way, you can easily maneuver this on the walls or CQB because it's really small and you can easily run with it because it's really, really light. I really, I really want to have one because 
I'm a casual shooter on practical shooting using rifle. I'm a casual shooter of rifle. So I can easily bring this to the match without any problems because it's really small. Not compared to my rifles, it's really big, it's really heavy. It's hard for me to bring it. So anyway, so the package is it has a M-Lock um, uh, handguard. It's around 4, 4.7 inches if I'm not mistaken. So it has a silencer. So it's kind of a little working. <laughs> Silencer because they already put the foam, but it's I it cannot compress the sound because it's really tiny silen silencer I guess it's intended for you to put a Loudener on this one it will look really cool and also a tracer So here's a pistol grip in the front. So this is necessary So grip this is the flip side Very nice flip side because they put a big um, round big hole on the rear side so you can easily use it for close quarter shots or close range shots so here one of the cool thing about this is the grip it's very ergonomic it feels really nice the design is really good straight I'm really fan of a straight grips it feels really good this is a foldable step so if you want to fold it just press this one and will lock so about the bad stock uh, the bad stock is not adjustable but it feels okay for me it's perfect if you're thinking where you're gonna put the batteries it's in the bad stock so it's here you just need to poke this switchy thingy and you can see the battery plug so out of the box it has a Tamiya plug with they have this perfuse you can just change it if you want to but for me uh, maybe in the future I'm gonna remove the fuse I'm not a fan of fuse because once once the fuse is broken you cannot use your rifle so it's wired here going here so it's really nice because the battery is still inside you don't need to use pouches the, the only problem is it's a really small compartment I tried fitting a uh, 1.4 uh, Tootsie Roll type, it won't fit. Uh, maybe you can try 1000 ma or a lower Tootsie Roll and it will fit. Most probably, you can try it. Let me know in the comment section below what batteries have you tried on this right? And also for the trigger, their trademark, they have this flat trigger. Really nice flat trigger. The hop up adjustment, still standard. So you can adjust your hop here, it's a rotary hop. So when you're done adjusting, just slap this bolt lock, bolt twist. Really cool feature. So also here's the M lock with GNG outings okay. here. So you can attach your red dot here. Uh, this M lock system, so you, you can still attach a lot of attachment here, but for me, I'm not gonna attach anything in this one looks really cool I hope they're gonna make long version of this mag because this mag really feeds really well uh, the internals is semi upgraded that's the good thing about GNG this will last for long if you're gonna use it stop out of the box this is a good rifle it's a really nice I already tried to shoot it so I'm gonna share the videos that while I'm shooting this uh, rifle DRP9 3.0 here is the smoke target board. Let's try it at maybe 10 meters. 10, 10 to 12 meters. Okay, let's check. Not bad. Um, I guess this is 2.5 inches groupings. So up and down lang naman ang rope niya but it's not bad. So try natin in full up. This piece uh this pistol caliber carbine really rocks. If you're playing CQB, this is a must-have rifle uh, because this is 
really compact. Uh, the magazine is much better. It fits really well. I hope they make a bigger version of this magazine because this is really nice. For, but for the meantime, the capacity is a little low for a CQB, CQB rifle. So that's only the downside for this. But you can buy those uh, big mags with um, Kamot or Rotary uh, in the bottom. They already have it in the market. It has a MOSFET integrated um, MOSFET here, so you're not gonna have um, broken contacts. And the trigger, it's really nice because it's an electronic trigger and you can program it on three round bursts and other options. I'm not so sure, I haven't tried it, but that feature is useless for me. I'm only concerned about the semi, auto, and sync. But anyway, um, this rifle for me, I really love it. The accuracy, it's not so amazing, but still good for this really short package. So I'm not expecting that you're gonna use this on the field, but if you're gonna use this on the field, still not bad. It feels like MP5K. So that's why I really like it. Old rifle, I'm using, uh, I mean SMG, I'm using MP5K. That's why I'm really enjoying this when I saw this. So can I recommend this? Definitely, 100% sure. This is a really nice rifle. Can I recommend this if you're gonna use it on practical shooting? You need to think about it. Um, on Pismok, this is allowed, but on IPSC, there is no rules on IPSC or formal written rules. It depends on your country or, or region, but maybe this is illegal, but there is no length yet for EEG, so not true. Not sure, but if you're gonna use this for cross training, um, this not not the best because this is short. Um, usually in real steel, we're using um, 16 inches to 14.5 inches barrel. Uh, this barrel, I guess this is only this is short. I guess it's only five inches, five inches barrel. So this is really really short. Actually, this is a pistol barrel, eh? so expect it will perform like a pistol, but. The accuracy, not bad. You can easily hit 30 meters with this one. Um, for practical shooting, yeah, for Pismo, you can easily use this because there is no length limit. So if the stages are, the space is really small at the stages, you can easily move using this one because it's really small. So I'm looking forward, maybe I'm gonna get one of these because it's really nice. It's, it's kind of cheap because you can only get this for uh, 18,000 to 19,000 if I'm not mistaken in the Philippines. So in the other countries, uh, I guess this is still cheap for a semi-upgraded rifle and for the whole package that you can get. What else? Um, this is a version 2 gearbox so you're not gonna have any problems with the um, parts and even the this is a M4 or AR platform for EEG so parts is still not hard to find. You have everything for this rifle. So that's it guys, so if I'm gonna rate this one, I'm gonna put this on uh, 9 out of 10. Because this is a really nice, even the price is really good. So maybe I'm gonna have one of these in the future and just, I'm just gonna change this one to Tracer or maybe a Louder. And a Red Dot, and that's it. It will work really well. Um, maybe the 9.5 out of 10 because the bot stock maybe they can make it a little bigger so we can put a bigger battery. But GNG, uh, I always trust GNG when it comes to durability and reliability. So, yeah, so that's it, guys. I hope you liked the video. Uh, I I also forget I uh, forgot to mention you can release your mag using this button like an AK or they already. Uh, they already put a AMBI button so for your index finger to press it so you can release your mag. So that's it. So that's it guys. I hope you like the video and I hope you learned something from it. Uh, 